first gainer again. I've been playing with my framelits uh, and I bought the Trim Your Stocking Thinlets and it goes with tags and trimmings, I think, <laughs> the stamp said. I love this little snowflake, it's absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to make a little uh, pillar box because I get these dies on the other side as well. And look at all these lovely little things you can do with it. This is cuts out a button, a bell, heart. A little twig, star, a, a, a label, and this put holes in the label as well, so cute. And you've got the holly and bigger things, and you can even cut a little slit, but I'm doing it mine differently. I have cut out all the pieces ready, um, and I made this cute little thing. How adorable is that? And a little, you can hang it from your lamp, from your uh, fireplace, or hang it off a tree. Put some decorations in, and I have put a little uh, bit of ribbon on mine too. So you've got somewhere to hang it up as well. Isn't it just adorable? Love, love, love. And I cut the front and the back. There's your little pillar box at the back. Uh, I cut the front and the back out of a six by six piece of designer series paper. So with one full sheet, you could make four of these. Absolutely fabulous. I'm using the same paper again, and these are your parts. I've got my little star cut out ready as well. How cute! The pieces for his little socks. This goes around the top of the sock. Isn't that gorgeous? And you've got, you can see it on this one, a little line where we're going to manipulate and bend. But what I'm going to do first. Uh, I'm using the edge of my desk just to bend, just curve it a little bit so when it's together you've got that curved box shape. So I'm just literally using my edge of my desk like a bone folder. So ha, I'll put some little creases in. I'm gonna, you've got score lines as well. Um, we're going to fold these over. Just be careful because they, they're quite faint. But uh, let me set this in. Show you. Fold them over gently. And we're going to do the other side. And I stuck all that together, believe it or not, with. Uh, my sticky strip which I had to buy off the internet because Stampin' Up! don't sell it anymore and I got three different whips and my roll is humongous I think this is the 6 mil I got 3 mil, 6 mil and 9 mil 50 metre rolls and it, I think it cost me about £5 each it's 50 metres on there that's going to last me a hell of a long time so I'm going to I'll roll this out. I'm just going to move my parts for a moment. Just while I add the tear and tape, uh, the sticky strip. So go right to the very ends, right to these corners so you can trim off what's uh, hanging over. Because you need that right up into that corner, right along this edge. Don't worry about the overhang. This stuff is uber sticky. Ultra, ultra sticky. And don't worry if there's any overlap. I'll show you that to do it in a second. So, to trim right off now. Right to the end. Look at it sticking to my scissors. All of this stuff. <laughs> It comes in these bags and you just keep them stored in there because it sticks to everything otherwise. So making sure that it's pushed right to the end. And you're just going to take your snips and cut to the end off. I will clean my scissors in a minute and show you how I do that as well. Um, but that's all the way to the end. Then I can feel a little bit there but we'll fold that over when we peel this off. That's uh, folded onto itself, so I'll just cut that. 
book is sticking. That's how good it is. Clean cut. Get off my fingers. <laughs> yeah, this is how sticky this stuff is. It's marvellous. I'm going to start at this end because my point is facing that way. And I won't have to trim that now. This stuff. I oh, love it. And then I can take this off the end here. Perfect. So I'm going to put that back in its bag because it just sticks to everything it sees. I love it, love it, love it. Right, what I do then, I push to make sure it really gets a good bonding to the paper. And I leave that to one side of my... Well, I'm going to start to manipulate these little... They go right to that corner, right to the end. And it's where your pillar box is going to fold over. And if you're wondering about this little flap, don't be worried about it, it's fine. Because that bends over and it's going to stick to the inside of your shoe like that. So don't worry about that. We need that. I am going to put some tear and tape on that one because you don't need that uh, ultra strong. But and what I do then, once I've got my corners, I just manipulate with my bone folder. So my corners are crisp. Got another little one the other side. What a fun little project. What I'm going to do with the jewellery pack when somebody comes to win the challenge I've set, I'm going to pop it in one of these boxes. How cute! So you'll have a little, you'll, one of these little stockings will contain your prize. So I'm going to leave that to one side just for a moment. I'm going to come in now. We can do this one as well. And now we're going to decorate before we pop everything together. Because that goes right up to there and right up to there. That's sweet. So, I'm going to try Tombow and see if this works. I just use tear and, I use tear and tape on the others. You can make sure it goes right up into these corners. Right along this edge, because you do not want this coming off and peeling. A little bit at the centre. Because you've got wiggle space with your tombow, look how it fits perfectly up into those corners. It's a bat, isn't that cute? And she ends down. Look at it, I've even got it stuck to my finger. I'll take that off after. And this little toe cap, isn't that the sweetest little thing? So I'm going to glue this on as well. I'll leave that to dry. We're going to do the little heel piece as well. And the stitching is on the outside. Oops, that's just slipped. Oh, that's well and truly stuck on there. <laughs> 
and the stitching comes always in and down. It's on the actual body of the, the sock. So let's see if I've got that perfect now. I can slide that round. There it is. Right onto the edges. I've got bitty fingers now from this glue. I will go over with my glue eraser. Get any bits off. I don't want it sticking to anything. Perfect. It's not sweet. Gonna get these little bits. I don't want to see any marks on here. There we are. Isn't that lovely? So cute. I've got a bit of glue there. I can see it. And it's got there we are. It's because it's on my fingers. I'm not a lover. It. I like Tombow's brilliant, but uh oof. When you, oh, and then you got this little trim here. This is going to fit right under the sock there. It follows that line perfectly. So we're going to glue that on as well. I hope you've been all having a nice day. I had three beautiful entries this morning, which I filmed and they're online now. I know they're fantastic. And the response and the comments, oh, beautiful, beautiful entries. Again, absolutely stunning. You ladies are absolutely fantastic. Isn't that sweet? Oh my lord, I love it. So let's get these two put together. We'll put our uh, snowflake on later. This is going at the bottom of the box. So basically, I'm going to take one side off first. And we're going to make sure these creases fit together. Oops. Oh, I'm going a bit black. Let me just do it this way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just going to Lally. Pop that right along there. And I'm going to fold this down. Perfect. Now I can open this out and rub my bone folder on it. It's not just the sweetest. So when we take this side off now and fold this down, don't worry about your flap yet. It should. Just fold straight across and our joins should meet up perfect. Perfect. Lovely. Oh, it's warm in here tonight. My daughter came. She said, Mum, I'm breathing. I said, literally, put the heat on for 10 minutes and you'll be begging me to turn it off. Oh, she said, I've got a cold. I'll be, I'll be uh, wanting it to stay on. And within five minutes, she asked me to turn it off. Got a little bit. There we go. That's better. There's a tiny little bit of trim overlay, but perfect. Isn't that sweet? So we can now push these in. I know you'll all be saying the little piece with the handle goes on the outside, but I don't mind which way it goes in. But just to get my shape. Pinch my corners together. 
Perfect. Now I'm going to add some tear and tape on here. Just a couple of little pieces. Love this stuff as well, that's super sticky. Is the wreath I made a few weeks back, black and white. I did do a traditional coloured one as well. Right now, push that in, and we're going to fold over our flap. How simple. I'm going to go in from the other end, and just can you see inside? Just going to push that little flap, making sure it's closed against my hand. And a lovely little black on the inside. Perfect. Lovely. Get rid of these bits. And there's your little pillar box. How cute. So what I did was I closed these together and I got my one eighth is it or one six one eighth I think it is and punch through the two together. Perfect. Now I take my silver ribbon wherever I put that. Oh there it is right in front of me blind as a bat <laughs> and only took about six inches so that's all you need. I love this stuff, it's so festive. And what I did is I pull the ends together and tie them in a knot. I suppose you could use the tinsel trim as well, but I think this is a little bit, and I'm going to pull it. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to pop it inside, and try and get the end to stay pretty close together. And what I did with my other one, I grabbed my tweezers, because I'm all fingers and thumbs, fat fingers, <laughs> fat thumbs. <laughs> Right, I'm going to pop that in there and just press it against and get my little tweezers to pull that through. There we go. Don't want to pile it too hard. I'm going to fold this in and I'm going to push it through this side. Oops. I did it earlier, straight away. I don't need the tweezers for this bit. <laughs> Perhaps I do need my tweezers. <laughs> There's my little handle. Yay! Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to fetch. I'm going to use a glue dot for this. My eyesight's getting terrible, you know. There we go. My lovely little glue dot. And I'm just going to pop the right. Isn't that just so sweet? 
And I've got these lovely little red gems. I did say I get I had them last year for Christmas. Um, and I, just thought, I think it adds a little bit just to the center of the. Isn't that sweet? You could add a gift tag to the back as well. Um, just how sweet are these? Absolutely beautiful. You could add Win Costella. Or oh, should we have a look at the... Let me add a little bit of Win Costella on the, on the back of here. Give it a bit more glitz. Add it to the toe. You could have even added it to the cuff of the sock as well. But that's entirely up to you. Let's get a bit more in a barrel. Oh, that's gone black. Why is that black? Oh, I know why. Because this is my silver. Winker Stella, not my clear. Oh gosh, look at all that now. Yes. Oh no. Oh yes, yeah, my silver one, look. I thought you'd gone off for a minute. <laughs> no, now I've just wasted all that. But look at that, add some little glitz to that as well. Isn't that sweet? I'm only going to do it to the one. I'm going to find something to mop that up <laughs> before I get it everywhere. But yay, aren't they sweet? We, I've even seen people turn these, just the fronts, and had tags and everything, and pop them on a card. Um, use just the fronts for cards, but I like the little pill it, the little pillar boxes at the back. I think they're just so sweet. But I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up and a share would be great. Don't forget to press the subscribe button in the bottom corner and the little bell and you'll be notified of any future videos. I tend to uh, try and post every day, um, but look how sweet you can hang these up now. <laughs> and they're just absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye.